You could not write the timing. Amy, I'm really sorry, but uh, it has had a car accident and I have no car and I don't know when I'm gonna get a car. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog video. Look who's already trying to steal the show. I hope you're all doing well. Today is Saturday and I'm actually starting this vlog uh, part way through the day. It's already three o'clock, but that's because this is a weekend vlog. As you can see from the title, I've got some thing very exciting happening this weekend so obviously I thought I'd vlog it. I also thought I'd vlog it because I thought this would be a good informative video for any people out there who are in the same situation as me who are trying to sell their car obviously to for getting a new car and as you may see by the title or I don't know if I'll put it in there or whatever but I have sold and I say that hesitantly because it hasn't happened yet it's come they're coming tomorrow morning but i've sold my car with motorway when i said that it sounds like i'm pitching an ad here but i'm definitely not i wish motorway were sponsoring this part of the video and i don't know about you guys i am not into my cars right not into my cars in the slightest but if you live in the UK, I'm sure you've heard the motorway way. The advert, I can just hear it all the time. Sell your car the motorway way. So I've decided to sell my car the motorway way. Oh, I was about to talk to you and my battery's flashing. Hang on a minute. Right, there we go. Yeah, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you're like me and you have no idea when it comes to cars, I still hope this information will be useful to you because the likelihood is if you drive, you're going to have to sell your car at some point. So I've got a Nissan Juke, which a lot of you guys might know because I posted a vlog years ago when I got it titled, I think I bought my dream car. I think that's what it was. Um, which back at the time, this word that buying my Nissan Juke was a huge deal because my first ever car, in fact, this is what I want to know down in the comments, you guys, wherever you are from the world, whatever age you passed your driving test, what was your first car? Mine was a Ford Fiesta, which my mum and dad surprised me with when I passed my driving test. And then when I started a new job, I decided to get myself a new car. And so I got my Nissan Duke that's on the drive. And I bought her back, obviously, I bought her back in 2018, I think it was, and she cost me eight thousand or nine thousand pounds and i just absolutely loved her and she has been a fantastic car fast forward on i think like i said five or six years of ownership now i think it is uh it's obviously time for a new car if you haven't seen my last vlog video which i will link in the screen here it's a really nice video of going out with nan i told you guys that i got a new car and that is coming on monday today's sunday oh my gosh so i had to get everything to align so i sold my car on motorway what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a chapter in here of just my very quick story of how far and how it's been for me selling on motorway and if you're interested but I will put a chapter down on the timeline so if this doesn't interest you please feel free to skip over it I've got a valuation on we buy any car I got a valuation on kazoo and then I went on motorway now with motorway it's a different concept because kazoo and we buy any car just purchase your car and then they I presume they just put it at auction so you are looking at you know instant bank transfer you could, I can drive down to we buy any car right now if I wanted to sell my car and they would buy my car at whatever price. So you pay for that convenience. Whereas with motorway, they say like you should get 82% of people said they got more for their car. So what happens is you go on their website and you basically have to set up your own listing of your car. So it will come up with a, it's a really good little system of where you take photos of your car and the camera like on your screen will come up with an outline of what it wants you to, what angle it wants you to have the car at. And then like interior pictures, it'll show you, for example, an angle where the two headrests are there and the two seats are there and the wheels here and you just have to like line it up. So this listing then goes out to auction to all of the professional dealers on there. So normal individual people can't buy your car. As far as I'm aware, it has to be like a, a trade seller. And then the way they make you the most money is that dealers compete. So they bid on your car and whoever gets the highest bid wins your car. So this is where I'm at. I had the auction, I did my listing and the auction went live. The auction literally went live the next day and it was live from 7 p.m. on a Saturday through to 3.30 p.m. on a Sunday. I was told that the reserve on my car would be £3,075. When I first went on Kazoo and got their valuation, I was told that my car was worth £3,000 nearly 500 pounds so they told me after all of the defects that i put in and everything that my car was then worth 3075 as a reserve but they said don't worry this is just a reserve price so 
it will sell for no less than that. Once you've done your listing, it's important to mention this as well, once I've done my listing, you can't just say like post, like go live, you have to then, it takes you through to a page and it's like, thank you for your listing, please call this number to confirm on your listing. So I rang that number straight away and it went through to the motorway call center and then the woman picked up the phone and she was like, yep, so it's a white Nissan Duke registration, so and so, so and so, basically go through the listing with you to reconfirm that everything you've declared is correct. They also ask you about any features on the car, just little things they can add on to the profile. Once you've gone through that on the phone, which probably took about 10 minutes, they then post, let you know that your auction is ready to go live. So I called up on the Friday, as I said, the auction went live for me on the Saturday 7 p.m. till Sunday at 3.30 p.m. And then I had an email literally at 3.30 on Sunday confirming that my car had sold for 3,300 odd pounds, I think it was. Sorry, 3,215 pounds. And it says that's an excellent price. That's 188 pounds more than expected. And it says purchased by, and it says the motor company that purchased it. You then have to go on and complete the sale so you have to agree to the price and once you've done that within two working days the garage will contact you come the end of the second working day i finally get a phone call and it is the company um the garage that want to buy it they had a couple of queries on my car which i answered to them uh, and I actually, it actually resulted in my car being dropped in the price of their offer. And they knocked me down from 3,215 down to 2,800. Because of the situation I'm in, I accepted it, but reluctantly because I was like, hmm, this has just gone, this is exactly what I expected to happen. Just gone from like, 3,400, 500 odd, then it's gone down, down, down. And I'm like, do you know what? 2,800 is fine, but when the person comes to my house, I say to them on the phone, I was like, I don't want any of this curbside knocking down. I was like, I have declared photos of every tiny little scratch and bump. He reassured me on the phone that there wouldn't be, as long as the engine runs, as long as there's no engine lights, and as long as there's no weird noises, or you know, as the, the car is, as I've declared, then he will give me that money for it. So it'll be interesting to see how this vlog goes, but that's my experience so far with Motorway. I can't say it's been a positive one. So we're on Saturday, I need to pop outside, and actually it's got a bit dark, but I do need to pop outside a minute, and I'll show you my little car for one last time and I'm just going to give it a little wipe down. I need to just vacuum the back seats. I've done this all already. He even said on the phone, don't bother about it. It's going for a full valet, but obviously I just want it to first impressions look really, really nice. And then tomorrow at 10 a.m., so Sunday at 10 a.m., I have someone coming down to collect my car. And then the final part to this vlog will be Monday, which is when my car is being delivered. It really is the most gorgeous car and I'm very excited about it. My car is basically my office. I am out in my car all the time, which is why I decided that I wanted to get one that ticks all of my boxes. So there we go. That's the very, very chatty and long ranty start to this vlog. I hope you um, are sitting comfortably. We've got a bit more to come. I'm gonna head out now, quickly give my car a little um, spruce up and I'll show you what she's looking like. Here is Cara, my lovely little Nissan Duke. Not to be tomorrow, but still. But yes, this is Cara. And this is what she looks like inside. So it is really, really, really tidy. I just need to take out a few things. I've got the vacuum around the side here as well. I am just gonna go ahead and vacuum and just spray some antibacterial and stuff to make sure it smells nice. But yeah, this is my lovely Cara. One last look at her. I am gonna miss her. Oh, I need to take this out as well. So it's things like that that I forget and like my cable completely forget about that but I cannot wait to be driving such a more comfortable and safer car as well just to note because this new car is going to have loads of new modern technology features on it. I'm going to give this a good vacuum out now and then she'll be good to go tomorrow. <laughs> So the car is all cleared out and I've got everything here ready for tomorrow. So I've just taken that cable out as you've seen. So I might need this for my new car. It might be USB-C though, I'm not actually sure. I've got my new key cover, which you will see be coming up in a Timu haul. And then I have my keychain ready to go. And then this is my sunglasses and a new sunglass uh, container, which is also from Timu. And my hand sanitizer. I've always got to have hand sanitizer in the car. I'm so excited this evening as well because at six o'clock 
we are going to get some dinner and we have got a local food truck that's coming round to this area and it's called Gert Wings. So we are gonna get Gert Wings tonight and I'm gonna show you. They are amazing. It's chicken wings and tater tots in like, you can get all different sauces, but like ranch and everything is amazing. Okay, we're back after an hour of queuing and waiting to get these goods, but you guys, you have never seen chicken wings this good. Honestly, let me show you this. So, we got both the same thing, but Andy and I got different sauces. So we need to find out which one's which. I think that one's Andy's. Look at this. Uh -huh. And this one should be... Oh, I can't tell actually which... Oh no, oh, no that is mine, because that's got the buffalo on it. Oh my goodness. So we get three chicken wings and three chicken strips. And look at that. I mean, I have not, well, we both, to be fair, we haven't ate bad food all of this month and we're now in February, so I am so excited. And then in here, we got an extra side of, oh wow, these are halloumi sticks. Look at this cheese, I've just taken a bite and I think it focuses. This is literally like half a book of halloumi. Good morning, everybody. Last night after that food, I don't know what happened, but I went into an actual food coma. I seriously don't know what happened to my body. I think after, you've got to remember, it's been like over a month of eating clean and well. And then I just had like loads of salty, fried, oily goodness. And I think my body just went into shock. I genuinely, I'm not even exaggerating, I think it did. Got a couple of biscuits and I'm just gonna, this is how I start pretty much every single one of my days. Uh, just catching up on some YouTube and then, we will see, probably in the next clip you see, it's gonna be the report of my experience, my final experience with motorway. Oh my man, we've got to put the sofa back together and you're in the spot, excuse me. Thank you. There has been a change of plan, also a change of outfit and jewelry. No one turned up at 10 and I end up getting a text at about 10 past 10 saying that the trains have been replaced by buses from Newport where they're, these people are coming from. Let me just pop you down. They said that there's been trains replacing, buses replacing trains so they, they couldn't get somebody down. So long story short, they're trying to get someone to come later. So yeah, I am gonna go out for a nice 10K walk with my mum and dad. And then we will come back and hopefully everything will go smoothly this time. Just like that, I am back. It was such a nice walk. We ended up going on a 7km walk. KM? I never say it like that. 7km walk. And now we are approaching, we're at 3.22. So I've just made myself a nice cup of tea. Half an hour till this guy comes, fingers crossed. And at this point, they've been really, really keen to come. So I'm hoping that that means I certainly get what I'm gonna ask for. I cannot believe this is actually happening. I feel, I feel like, do you know what? Not even, I've got a bottle of water. I feel like we need a pint of wine at the moment. I'm gonna take you in the front room because we gotta sit down and have a chat. Uh, you guys, I could not write this. So it is uh, 26 minutes past five. Obviously the guy was due to come, like I said to you, at about four. He ended up arriving at 4.30 and he checked over the guy, he was like really stern. He came up, he didn't say much, he was just like, hi, yeah. And he like wasn't making any conversation and I was like, right, he's clearly a guy who means business. And I should mean business too, but I can't help it. I'm just such a friendly, personable person. I just chat away to people, it's my default. So he checks around the car, he gets on the phone, he obviously confirms all of the stuff that I declared. And then he's like, right, can we go for a drive? I was like, yep, yeah, I'll sit in the front. I was like, it's okay if Andy and my partner come. So he came in the back. So a month ago, I don't know which part I'd say first, we were driving along the straight road and before he got in, he adjusted my wing mirrors, but he adjusted them, we drove and we were driving straight and as we were driving, my wing mirror falls off. Yeah, my wing mirror falls off. <laughs> Not, thankfully, not the actual piece of the car, just the piece of glass inside. And I did actually re replace this piece of mirror uh, only like a month ago. That, so it's like 10 quid there. It's really cheap. It's just a piece of mirror. And, um, but the fact that we were on this test drive of the car and it fell out. Sorry, Jerry's doing that. He does it every time I vlog. He's over there doing his little scrapey thing on the floor. So I was in the passenger seat and I seen it start wobbling and I was thinking, oh my goodness, please don't fall off. And the piece of glass just goes, because <laughs> <laughs> I 
because we're driving at like we're driving at like 40 miles an hour down a main road and I see this happen out of the corner of my eye and he sat behind me and I know he would have seen it as well and I'm almost on the verge of like laughing because I'm thinking I'm just, like laughing at like how this can be happening and how unfortunate of timing that is. We did we continued the test drive so I put my arm up on the side of the of the mirror like on the side of the car sorry and I was just like playing with my nail I was just like doing that like trying to block as much as I can and he didn't notice it at all it was only when we pulled back into the house that he then like walked around the car as a final inspection and was like did you see that wing mirror did you see that wing mirror fall off and I was like what <laughs> like I had to play play surprised I I don't think I managed to play it surprised very well I'm not very good at not very good at faking it but um I was just like no <laughs> I look at Andy when I get out of the car and I'm like and he's like so anyway, long story short after that, thankfully, <clears throat> thankfully it didn't make much of a difference. And the guy got on the phone to me and he was like, um, he's like, that wing mirror, is, is there anything like, where did you get it from? I was like, oh, it was a approved used parts, but via eBay. Uh, and I was like, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if I stuck it on correctly. And then he was like, oh, right. Okay. Do you mind if we knock you down? Uh, do you mind if we adjust the price to 2775 for that? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> 25 quid off. Um, and at that point I was like, I can't like, I was like, yeah, whatever. As I have agreed on the phone and he is doing the bank transfer to me, I get another phone call and I answer the phone. Cause I'm thinking that I thought it was something to do with the transaction. No, it was Jaguar. <laughs> it was Jaguar at half past five on a Sunday, ringing me up to say, Amy, I'm really sorry, but uh, the guy who, your your essay, is, has had a car accident. You could not write the timing to be any more ironic. Thankfully, he's okay. Just so you know, the first thing in my head was, oh, is he, I, the first thing I said was, what? Is he okay? Like, because he said a car, he's been in a car accident. And I was like, a million things. I was like, oh my God, is he okay? In my car? In his car? Whose car? Like, what's what's happened? So yeah, he had an accident and no, thankfully not in my car. So my car's okay, but, and he's okay now, but it's just a case of getting everybody, everybody back. And of course it's a Sunday. So a lot of businesses don't operate on a Sunday. I'm currently in the point now where I have sold my car. So I did sell my car, got the money in my bank, keys are gone, car is gone and I have no car and I don't know when I'm gonna get a car. He's gonna ring me back first thing tomorrow and they expect, they, they think that my essay will be back in work tomorrow, but it's not gonna be tomorrow now. So I am I am now without a car and I, I've never, I don't know what to do. Like I don't, I've literally, I've had to cancel my gym for tomorrow. I just don't really, like I live, as you guys know, I, I'm a country girl, I live in the country. We can't get to anything by foot apart from like the local store. Andy has got a car, but I don't drive his car. I'm not on his insurance and I don't want to because he's got a heavily modified vehicle that goes very fast. Uh, he's got almost like a sports car. So I, I do not want to go in that thing. Plus it's like his baby. So I just said to him, I don't want to drive your car with all due respect because you'll be having kittens when I'm out. Oh, anyway guys, it is 5.34 on a Sunday and I'm still gonna make this my new car vlog because I'm just gonna not vlog tomorrow or Tuesday now or whatever, whatever it is and just pick it up where I was supposed to tomorrow morning. I'm actually finding all of it quite amusing. I'm not gonna lie. I should be like annoyed, but I'm actually finding everything so amusing of how it's all happening. So we'll just ride this wave and see what happens. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the gym tomorrow. I'm gonna have to just get my little treadmill out and go running in the kitchen. I am going to go now and make our HelloFresh dinner and I will pick the camera back up when I have more information. So as this is my new car vlog, I thought I'd show you just the day before the new car's due. Jerry's very excited because his new car seat has arrived. And I've put it on the sofa to see if he likes it and he fits absolutely perfect. It's such good quality as well. Yeah, he loves it. Look, it's got this little back bit and then this straps around the actual car. So it's an actual dog car seat. I got this from Timu. <laughs> Look at him. And it's the medium size. I will link it down below along with my Timu discount code if you guys want to get one for your little pup. But yeah, Jerry's a pretty standard miniature dachshund. So he's not a small miniature and he's not a big miniature. So if that's any help. Well, at least you got your car seat. Now we just gotta hope the car comes tomorrow. Oh my goodness, what a whirlwind. So I'm picking up this vlog. This is now 
Two or three days later, my camera's upstairs, so I've been doing so much content, so I'm filming on my phone. But today is the day. I didn't update you all, but I've actually had a hire car for the last three days. I picked it up on Monday, so the day I was supposed to be getting my car, and I had a Nissan Qashqai, which I just hired from Europe Car, and I had that for three days. I've literally just dropped it back, and it is 11.46 on Thursday the 1st of February. I mean, it does feel quite nice that like the first of the month, like new beginnings, you know what I mean? So yes, the SA called me and he is about, I think now it'll be just under an hour away from my house. Oh, I'm so excited. Now. Well, I'm not actually that excited. I feel like it's not even settled in yet, maybe because I've had the disappointment. So it's kind of like been anticlimactic, but next clip probably gonna be the car. <laughs> Caught me off guard, I just shut down my computer for the day. Oh my God, the car, <laughs> he's on my drive. <laughs> Good morning, Amy. Yes, it is a very good morning. Okay, this is gonna be the test. Does this sit nicely? Okay, it does. This was the perfect car. We got there in the end, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think I need to clean the lens a second, one second. Finally, this is the clip I've been waiting for in this vlog. You're gonna see this as the start of very many videos to come because last time in my... I literally have to mute my group chats all the time. I've got one friend specifically who messages like one word every line. I don't know about you guys. Are you a are you a whole message send? Because that's me. I put everything I want in a message and click send. My friend is literally like, hey, send. Got something to tell you, send. What do you think about send? This outfit, send, photo, send. And my my phone just goes ping, 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 and I get so friggin' annoyed. Anyway, that is such a side note. Um, yes. We got it, this is the new car vlog and it has finally happened. I thought I would just show you a little bit around the car but I'm conscious this vlog is very long but I know that that's kind of what this is about. As you can see from the interior, this is exactly what I have always dreamed of. The white exterior of the car, which you would have seen in a little bit of a B-roll before we came to this clip and then this. So you could not get more me in a car. This isn't even the best bit because, well, it, it's pretty good, but this isn't even the best bit. Let me just turn the car on. Saying that, I also got a key cover. So the one that I showed you earlier in this video was not the right key cover. This is a few days later, by the way. So I got this one on Amazon, um, which is just the same one, but it's for the new generation key. Apparently the key that I had was old generation, the SA told me. There we go. I won't turn the ignition on because we don't need it on right now. But yeah, so as you can see in the back there, let me just show you, I have got Jerry's car seat. Um, he won't usually be in the back. In fact, I'm not even sure if that car seat works in the back because it doesn't secure. I, it has got an ISO fix on the back seat. So you can see down there, it says ISO fixes. So this is obviously really good if you've got, they're both ISO fix seats. So if you uh, have got children, then that is fine. Obviously he's gonna be at the front here most of the time. And then this is the best thing. And this is how bougie my dog is. Uh, if you can see over on the side here, here. There's little buttons that say one, two, and three. These are seat settings. So seat setting one is Jerry's seat setting. And I say that because basically the seat just goes all the way forward. So it just means he obviously is like more compacted in there. As you can see then, we've also got this, which makes me so happy. Summer is on its way and I now have a sunroom. Official name is obviously panoramic roof. This is a fixed one. Um, I didn't bother getting the one that opens because it doesn't actually slide all the way anyway it only just like tilts open so it's hardly worth it and honestly it wasn't going to be a deal breaker for me having a panoramic roof was a deal breaker for me though the seats here are absolutely amazing so if you are buying a jaguar or land rover or range rover this is called the light oyster interior so the ebony interior is the black and then this is the light oyster it's so desirable and you can see why some people would argue not practical but for me i have no children i do have a dog but he's very prim and proper he won't walk in 
muddy puddles or anything so <laughs> it should be fine and he's little maybe if I had like a bigger dog back like Milo or something then yeah maybe not as practical but uh it has got I won't show you but it has got an absolutely massive boot the seats are I love them so this seat is actually called the Windsor seats as well so these were upgraded these are not the top of the range because the top of the range are the sport ones which look like this I'll put them in the screen I'm not actually a massive fan of them I think like on a car like this like an SUV I don't think they go if you had like a really sporty little car like a little coupe or a little two-seater convertible 100% I feel like those seats are needed and they are stunning but I feel like the the light oyster Windsor seats class then coming to the bit that was the obviously the thing that sold me has to be the driver experience and this is the cockpit i suppose for want of a better word the driver's seat whatever this is exactly what sold me on this car so this is essentially like an ipad it's really big i think it's like 14 inches i would swipe to show you but i've got my location in there but also you've got all of your apps here as well there's so much you can do with it i watched so many videos on it then the other thing that massively sold me on this car was this and this was really different difficult to get in this car because this was a COVID built car um, and obviously there was a chip shortage at the time so the 3D parking this is amazing if you haven't seen this before as you can see it basically just does a three dimension of the car and you can click here and see all the different angles so this is really really handy if you want to park um, and you've obviously got a really tight space to park in so also I've got the over the top camera here so this is ideal when I'm parking in between like um, the lines of a parking space because obviously it's just a over the top uh, bird's eye view but yeah I won't walk you through everything this is obviously then the actual steering wheel and this was another reason why I wanted this car a lot of the light oyster interior cars don't come with the light oyster handle handle steering wheel because I have got the F pace that is the HSE model so the slightly higher I think the one below the top range the top range is like the sporty ones but you can only buy them in three litre engines and this is a two litre diesel um but yeah this is what comes with it so I, I had to I had to have this I feel like it just makes it if you like the light interior I feel like this is a must all the cabin lighting as well which is in here down at the foot wells up on the um ceilings as well I can configure it to any color I want which is just crazy obviously so I've set it all to white because I want it nice and neutral but I can have it literally any colour of the rainbow and then we've just got a little section here I've already put my hand sanitizer. I usually have that and then I have got some plugs in here and then the stuff that I showed you some coins, I bought some chewing gum and my stuff this is also an electrically adjusted steer column as well so that's super handy i've also got my own settings on the door and then andy can have his setting at number two he i've got the heated seats which don't initiate because the engine's not on but i can click that and also this heated steering wheel and okay that's it guys i, I can't i'll keep going because i'm just so excited about this i share so much of my life on this channel so i felt i had to do this new car vlog i also hope it was helpful to you guys when obviously talking about selling my car with motorway i also just wanted to give Jaguar a bit more of a spotlight in the cars because I feel like they're really underrated cars. I feel like you don't see them much on the roads. The Range Rover is the one that you see everywhere all different kinds of Range Rovers which are beautiful cars um they're now owned by the same company so it's Jaguar Land Rover but the Jaguar Jaguar cars are UK built um and they're all it's a UK company and everything anyway I'm not a car person I just know that this car is fabulous this has been a long video but thank you guys for watching it is truly unbelievable that I get to sit here and experience this and just share it all with you as well you know that I share everything on on my channel and this is just such a new chapter and level up for me that's I've saved so hard for um and I've you know I've managed to get here which is just so exciting I feel ever so blessed I'm gonna go ahead and leave some videos over on the screen here for you to watch if you want to check out some more of my content I'd love if you subscribe to this channel I've got loads of vlogs coming we mainly do shopping content and vlogs that is my divide of channel I really do appreciate the time you guys spend watching my content and engaging with it etc it really does mean the world so I'm gonna leave you all to it thanks for watching again and I'll see you in my next video Ciao.